Consultants in pre-risk are usually graduates in biology, in chemistry, in environmental science, in food engineering, and other similar topics and subjects. So they usually don't know anything about pumps or about pipes and water tanks. But they need to know the very basics about how the water is heated in a hotel or other premises, because they have to apply this, this knowledge to their assessments on Legionella prevention or water hygiene. I will try to explain for new consultants in a very easy way how the water is heated in a hotel, in a usual hotel, in a normal hotel. Guests of the hotel need hot water in their rooms, obviously. This water comes from the general water tank of the hotel and in its way to the rooms, water flows through a heated changer where it's heated. From this heated changer, water is pumped to the rooms to be used. If water is not used by the guests, by the hotel guests, it's stored in a hot water tank to be used later. The main question now is what's happened here? How water coming from the cold water tank is heated to achieve the rooms and to be used by the hotel guests? The heated changer receives hot water at very high temperature from the boiler. The boiler is using gas or petrol or other fuels to heat the water. In the heated changer, the temperature of the water from the boiler is transferred to the water from the cold water tank. So the water from the cold water tank is heated. The water from the boiler comes back to the boiler to be reheated, to be heated again. And the water from the cold water tank that now has been heated is pumped to the rooms or to the hot water tanks to be used later. Note that water from boilers and water from water tanks are not the same and never meets or get in contact. Water from the boilers is used only to heat the water from the cold water tank in order to increase its temperature above 50 degrees and to be used in rooms. So, in summary, you have a heated changer like this, you have a boiler here, and you have a water tank. Water from the boiler at 90 degrees or more is going through the heater changer and come back to the boiler to be reheated, to be heated again, because the temperature is transferred to the water coming from the cold water tank. 
So the temperature of the water coming from the boiler is transferred in the heat exchanger to the water coming from the cold water tank. So the temperature of the water here is increased and this water goes to the rooms, to the showers. So there are two different systems. In this case, water uh, in the left system is not used by the clients, by the guests. This water is only used to provide the way to carry energy from the boiler to the heat exchanger. The water that is used by the guests is on the right side of this scan. These are boilers and they use gas as a fuel in this case. In this slide, you can see two heat exchangers. And this is an example of hot water tanks. You have here two hot water tanks. And finally, you have the showers. The water will be used in rooms or in the swimming pool or any other installation where there are showers or irrigation systems. This is an scan about how the heat exchanger is working. This is the water coming from the boiler and the water coming from the boiler is coming back to the boiler to be reheated. Here you have the water coming from the cold water tank. In this case, the blue lines are the water coming from the cold water tank. And this water is going to the rooms. As you see, a typical heat exchanger has dozens of metal panels located in parallel. Hot water flows through half of the panels and cold water flows through the other. As the metal transfers heat, the temperature is transmitted from one side to the other of each plate. Remember, water, hot water from the boiler and cold water from the cold water tanks never mixed, but heat temperature is transferred from one side of the sheets of the uh, panels to the other side. So, cold water is heated and hot water from the boilers comes back again to the boilers to be reheated. So, in summary, you have a boiler that uses petrol or gas to heat water at for example, 90 degrees. This water flows through half of the plates of the heat exchanger. Water to be heated and used at the guest rooms comes from the cold water tank, for example, at 20 degrees, and flows through the other plates of the heat exchanger. Temperature is 
transferred from the hot water to the cold water. Now, water from the cold water tank has reached 50 degrees. This water is stored into a hot water tank or pumped to the rooms. On the other hand, water from the boiler used to heat the heat exchanger lost temperature to 70 degrees and come back to the boiler to be reheated again. To finalize, just a reminder, water from the boiler and to the boiler, water coming from the boiler and going to the boiler is always the same. This water is only used to carry energy from the boiler to the heat exchanger. Water from cold water tank going to the showers is heated by the temperature of the heat exchanger. And to avoid subsequent cooling of the water, the water that is inside the pipes, there is a return circuit that returns the water, the water of the rooms, if not consumed, to the hot water system. So that is reheated again. And that's all about the system, the system to heat water in, in a hotel.